Hey guys, what's up? My name is Gustavo Alfaro from Gustavo Alfaro Photography. I am a glamour and fitness photographer based in Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm here today to talk about the Joel Grimes Beauty Dish from F.J. Westcott. About a year ago, I got to work alongside Joel Grimes at a photography expo in Covington, Kentucky. We did have the prototype of the beauty dish there, and my initial reaction was that it's pretty awesome. The setup and the teardown is so easy. The construction uh, was pretty pretty good at the time. It, however, there were some concerns voiced by Joel towards the Westcott team uh, on some changes that he would like to see made to make it a little more robust and a little more easy to use. Those things have come to pass since he has voiced those concerns, and now it is one of the go-to modifiers in my bag. First look at the day is with Barbara. We shot her on a plain white background with the intention of compositing her onto a different background later. Above her, we placed a 48 inch Octobox shooting straight down. This created separation across her head and shoulders while giving a good highlight across her hairline. In the front, we placed the Joe Grimes Beauty Dish to add some pop to her face and to kind of fill that chest and midsection area. Below that, we used a Westcott five in one reflector with a soft white to bounce up any light into her core and midsection. Once I got back into the office, removing her from the background was pretty easy. We just dropped her into a different digital background and we created the hero image that you see on the screen. Barbara's second look was action based. We had her doing a basic runner's type stretch with a one foot hop here and a one foot hop there. And to stop the action, we had the Westcott Beauty Dish in the front, filling up her face and torso and creating a nice outline from the front side. In the back, we had a 48 inch Octobox creating some stopping power and a nice kicker. This also created a nice uh, cross light that you see in a lot of hero portraits and action images. Uh, above her, we kept the same 48 inch Octobox shooting straight down to create a nice separation from the background and give her a nice hair light. Once back into the office, I again extracted her from the background and put her on a different background to kind of give it that advertising sporty feel that we all know and love. Our second athlete for the day was Gary. We had him come in and do some cleans. And for that setup, we used two lights. We had a 48 inch parabolic on a boom stand behind Gary, which created a separation from the background, a nice fall off on his shoulders and his backside, as well as creating a nice halo on the ground around him. In front of him, we used the Westcott Joel Grimes Beauty Dish to light his face, create a nice profile, and to spill over his abs. Gary's second look was a three light setup. We used a 48 inch parabolic above him, not unlike Barbara previously. We had the Joel Grimes Beauty Dish on a boom stand, slightly camera right, and pointing back towards his face and abs, as well as a 48 inch Octobox firing a semi cross light to give him a little bit of a kicker and separate it from the background. This created a nice dramatic feel to the light that really fit the mood of him picking up that 500 pounds of weight and moving it forward. Our third look for the day was with Taylor, and for this setup, we used a basic beauty clamshell setup. We had the Joel Grimes Beauty Dish above her, firing down over her head and shoulders, as well as a five-in-one Westcott reflector, bouncing all the light back up to do a nice little feel. We also had a second five-in-one reflector across the backside to fill in the shadows of her shoulder area. For Taylor's second look, we took a 40 degree honeycomb grip provided by Westcott and inserted that into the Joel Grimes Beauty Dish. I'm generally used to using a 15 and a 30 degree grid with my models. That creates a nice hard vignette on the background as well as a nice specular shadow and creates some dramatic lighting. So this was a much more softer vignette that I'm used to using and I'm thinking that I'm just gonna have to play around with it and see what I think about it as we go. Either way, with or without the grid, you'll see that the results are pretty stunning. So if you have any questions about the Joel Grimes Beauty Dish, be sure to reach out to me via my website and I'll be glad to answer any questions that you have. That's it for this real deal review of the Joel Grimes Beauty Dish from Westcott. I'm Gustavo Alfaro and thank you for watching.